Welcome back guys, in this video I'll be showing you how to install Nitex Free OptiScaler mod in Path of Exile Part 2 running on my Windows PC that has a Ryzen 5700X 3D processor and an RTX 2070 Super GPU Using this mod we will be able to use TLSS Upscaler in conjunction with FSR version 3.1.3 frame generation It's a shame that this game does not support FSR frame generation It does not even support TLSS frame generation Yes you heard it right but the game is still in early access phase. It will be officially released in about 5 months from now and will be free to play. In order to play the early access, you need to purchase the supporter pack that costs around 30 US dollars. People who played Path of Exile Part 1 and spent at least 480 US dollars in that game get to play the early access of Path of Exile 2 for absolutely free. This game comes with a very old version of DLSS Upscaler version 2.4 so I'll be manually updating it to version 3.8.10. As this is an online game, there is a risk of getting banned for using OptiScaler mod, but it's very unlikely to happen. I've already played the game for about 39 hours with the mod installed. My account is still active. I played the game on my ROG Ally that has Windows 11 and even Steam Deck that has Steam OS. So it's up to you whether you want to use the mod or not. AMD users can just use AFMF2, driver level implementation of frame generation. Just download the latest version of TLSS Subscalar TLL from Tech Power Ops website. This is the latest version at the time of recording this video. 3.8.10. Click on download here. Click on any of the servers. Download will start. Now I'll be installing OptiScaler mod. We'll be using its preview 84 build that supports FSR 3.1.3 hybrid spin lock feature. This build is not available on OptiScaler's GitHub page. I'll give its download link in the description. Or you can grab it from OptiScaler's Discord page. Extract the mod's contents. Open the archive file. Select and copy all of the files present inside this archive file. Go back, paste. Change the name of nvngx.tll file to txgi.tll. Just copy the highlighted files. Four of them. Need to paste them in the games install directory. Select the game in your Steam library. Right click, manage, browse local files. Paste the mod files here. Replace. Now open nvngx.ana file. From here, you need to set hybrid spin to true. By default, it's set to auto, which is false. Click on file, click on save, close the file. Now make sure hardware accelerated GPU shared link setting is enabled. Right click anywhere in the desktop area. Click on display settings. Click on graphics. Then click on change default graphics settings. From here enable hardware accelerated GPU shared link setting. If your monitor supports variable refresh rate, enable the setting as well. Now I'll enable vSync from NVIDIA control panel. Click on manage 3D settings. Click on program settings. From the drop down bar select path of Excel. Scroll down to the end from here, enable vSync. Apply. My monitor is G-Sync compatible. I'll just enable G-Sync settings. Click on setup G-Sync here. Enable the following settings. Enable G-Sync, G-Sync compatible. Enable for full screen mode and enable settings for the selected display model. Click on apply. I'll manually update DLSS upscaler. Open the upscaler's archive file. Copy this TLL file. Need to paste it in the games install directory. Open streamline folder. Paste the file here. Replace. You can check its version. 3.8.10. We are ready to run the game. Make sure no third party software like Afterburner is running in the background. It can cause OptiScaler's hardfix to not work properly. To show you the performance stats, I'll use Nvidia's OLA. In game settings. Make sure renderer is set to DirectX 12, otherwise OptiScaler frame generation won't work. Mode, windowed full screen vSync off. Resolution full HD, upscaler set to TLSS using its quality preset, sharpness style 15% optional. I have maxed out the settings. Performance in this game can be very variable, depends on the number of creatures on the screen. The hold, shadow plus GI quality set to ultra, sun shadow. Number of lights high, default, water high, NVIDIA reflex enabled helps in reducing latency, dynamic culling disabled, 
engine multi-threading enabled triple buffering off I was not able to disable this setting on my steam deck for some reason not sure why I am from India we'll be using the Singapore based server open the mods menu by pressing the insert keyboard key DLSS upscaler selected from this drop down bar version 3.8.10 frame generation disabled for the time being I'm using my mouse and keyboard to play the game. When you're using a mouse, you can zoom in or zoom out anytime you want. But when you're using a gamepad, you'll be forced to play the game with a zoomed out view. Not sure why. I'm on a caravan. It's basically an online lobby. You can see the other players. This particular area is very demanding on the CPU. You can see we are not hitting the GP bottleneck here. This area is even more demanding than some quest areas. Good for testing the game. 75 to 80 fps i'll just enable optiscalar frame generation what menu open frame generation on hard fix setting on set the limit value to 8 open the debug view you can see displays are working properly for all of the images no hard elements are visible in the bottom middle image and the color palette is exactly the same for the bottom middle and bottom right images. Just disable the debug view and play the game. FPS increased to around 130. Play the game with a zoomed out view. I'll be honest guys, it's a bit difficult to perceive the added amount of smoothness as we cannot move the camera around, at least with this controller scheme. But I'm pretty sure the smoothing effect is working. I tested the game on my raw galab. This mod helped in increasing the fps from 35 to almost 60 and the added amount of smoothness was very easily perceivable let's show you some combat now okay i just spawned in keth looking for some creatures mini boss will spawn here kabala there it is fps is still over 100 very good performance with the mod Games hard elements are not flickering, even the subtitles are not flickering. Not observing any graphical artifacts around the character model. And this is when I am playing the game with a zoomed in view. Boss spawn some minions. FPS dropped down to down 90. Still the game is running smoothly. If I hadn't enabled optiscalar frame generation here FPS would have dropped to around 50. Particle effects did not slow down the game. The spam my abilities. Same attack again. Yes, stun the boss. See. Hopefully, the developers will officially add FSR frame generation in this game when the game is finally released. So that's it for the video, guys. I hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.